In an office or homeland setup, computers and other network devices are usually given private IP addresses to enable communication within the local network. These private IP addresses are only unique within the local network itself. This means that the same IP addresses can be used by computers in another office or local network. Common examples of private IP address ranges include those starting with 10.0 or 172.16. On the other hand, devices on the Internet are identified by public IP addresses, which are globally unique and registered for communication across different networks. For example, a web server on the Internet must have a unique public IP address. Obtained through registration and often involving costs. However, computers within a LAN with private IP addresses cannot directly access websites with public IP addresses. Because private IP addresses are not routable over the Internet. Assigning public IP addresses to every device in the LAN would be expensive and wasteful. Because the 32-bit address format of IP version 4 allows for approximately 4 billion unique addresses, which are quickly becoming scarce due to the exponential growth of Internet-connected devices. An efficient solution for computers with private IP addresses to access websites or communicate over the Internet is called NAT. NAT stands for Network Address Translation. In simple terms, NAT is used in computer networking to allow multiple devices within a local network to share a single public IP address for communication with devices outside the local network, such as the Internet. NAT is commonly used with IP version 4 to conserve public IP addresses. NAT is typically implemented on routers and firewalls. Let's take a look at how NAT works using an example of a LAN. In this LAN, there are two computers connected to a switch and to a router. Each computer on this network has its own private IP address. This LAN has one public IP address assigned to the router. Now, let's say computer with IP address 10.0.0.1 wants to access a website on the internet named example.com. When the computer sends a request to access the website, the request packet contains the private IP address of the computer as the source address. Before the packet can leave your network and reach the internet, it goes through the router. Here's where NAT comes into play. The router, which acts as a gateway between your LAN and the internet, performs network address translation. It replaces the private IP address of the computer, which is 10.0.0.1 in the packet header with its own public IP address. Suppose router's public IP address is 5.5.5.5. .5 .5 .5. This process hides the internal IP addresses of devices in your network from the outside world. Additionally, the router assigns a unique port number to this translation to keep track of which device inside the network made the request. At the same time, the router records this translation in a translation table, which maps the private IP address and port number to the corresponding public IP address and port number. This table allows the router to keep track of ongoing connections and correctly route incoming response packets back to the appropriate device. Now, with the private IP address replaced by the router's public IP address and port number, the packet can travel over the Internet to reach the website server. When the website server sends the response back to the router's public IP address and port number, the router checks its translation table, finds the corresponding private IP address and port number, and forwards the packet to the computer with the original private IP address. In this way, NAT allows devices within a LAN with private IP addresses to access resources on the Internet using a shared public IP address provided by the router, while also providing an additional layer of security by hiding the internal network structure. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking and subscribing to our channel for more. We value your feedback, so please leave a comment below letting us know what you think. Don't forget to enable notifications to stay updated on our latest uploads. Feel free to share this video with anyone who could benefit from it. See you in the next one.